That is a bad camera angering. Good evening, everyone. It's your favorite top hat mage, Mordred Durak, back after a vacation. And as you can guess, I've returned to play the Outer World. So, let's see what all this ruckus is about. I only know that you end up on a ship called the Unreliable. You make your own character, obviously. It's kind of like a cross between Borderlands with Fallout, which could be fun. And there's a guy that reminds me a lot of, like, Rick from Rick and Morty. So, let's check it out. First off, a few announcements, of course. This stream is coming back Thursdays, uh, starting next Thursday, March 5th. The Air uh, Adventures of the Airship Fiamat will be returning. Hopefully it'll be a weekly or bi-weekly thing. We'll go over it later. And then Sundays, come back to see more Mordred plays The Outer Worlds. Or whatever might be coming up next. Might be Kingmaker again. Or it could be any number of things. Cyberpunk 2077's coming out too, so keep your eye out for that. Alright everyone, enough of the announcements. Let's begin. Uh, this is recommended with first play session, normal mode, and we have standard health. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do normal. Why not? And I'm a big fan of subtitles, so I hope nobody else minds that. So, yeah. Let's see. Continue. Halcyon. Come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier that is owned and operated by distinguished corporations. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. Uh, a trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Colony ship hope found. Hope to be left at edge of colony. Security beacon, cam 78. I think those holiday foods still left me with, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna need to lose some weight. Don't mind me! Oh, hey! Who's this dude? Phineas Vernon Wells. Status fugitive wanted by Halcyon Holding. Okay, that was too fast. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Hmm. Well then. I guess we'll have to see here. Uh, strength. Oh! Ooh! Okay, we got strength, we got dexterity, we got intelligence, and perception, and charm, and temperament. Let's see, these things affect a little bit of everything, so let's check it out. We got one-handed, two-handed, heavy weapons, block, inspiration, intimidate. 0% uh, melee damage, 80 kilograms carrying capacity. Damn. Uh, dexterity effects and melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. So, hand melee, handguns, dodge block, etc., etc., lock picks, melee weapon attack speed. Okay, that looks pretty standard. Intelligence affects critical hit bonus damage. It affects the long guns, persuade, hack. Oh, hacking, okay. Medical science and determination. Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Uh, the skills are handgun, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpick, and engineering. Really? I thought I would have thought intelligence. Eh, well. Uh, charm affects affection, reputation, and companion ability cooldown. Ooh. 
That would be good to know. Persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, and inspiration, as well as several things that it has percentages for. So keep an eye on that as well. Uh, the temperament improves your natural health and regeneration. Uh, affects two-handed, lie, sneak, medical, engineering, and determination. And two health regeneration per second. Hmm. And I got, oh, looks like I got six points. God, my button here. Okay, so we're going to go with good strength, good mind, good, yeah, we'll give them high intelligence, uh, good charm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that back and give dexterity a good blow. There we are. I like intelligence. We'll give him a high perception, so let's do this. Next on our list, ah, we get two skills to choose from. Ranged, melee, defense, dialogue, stealth, attack, and leadership. Hmm... So I'm trying to figure out what I'm building here. So clearly from the attributes I gave myself, I'm looking to be more ranged and hackery. I have a feeling those are going to be really good, you know, techie type stuff. So why don't we give them leadership first? Like barking orders? Good. We're used to being bossed around. Ah, well, that's cute. And maybe some dialogue? You could make a vicar doubt the law. Huh. Of course, these will probably change as we play through the game. Leadership determines max health. Inspiration. Skill increases damage inflicted by your companions. We'll take that off for now and probably give it... Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. Huh. Well, good to know. So, tech improves your knowledge of bodies and tools. So, medical. Increases health provided by um, items in the inhaler. Increases duration effects and open extra slots. Science. Increases damage of plasma and shock damage weapons. Science also improves the specific for science weapons. Higher science skills unlock the ability to tinker any weapon or armor. Yes. And engineering. Engineering school reduces the armor parts and weapons parts needed to repair your equipment. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Well, that's good to know. All right, everyone. We have our two skills. Aptitude. No discernible aptitude. Oh. Nice entry-level career for a person of your skill. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Uh, beverage service technician? Meh. Nah. Bureaucrat. Operates on laws. Laws require paperwork. Halcyon is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, uh, refracted, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. Uh, the aptitude bonus is block one. Uh, drink uh, effect duration plus three. Determination. Ooh. Cashier. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the ka of a bit of cartridge getting entered right side up. The redemption of loyal point, loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye-bye now and are the same empty words. Their promise and a standard you intend to carry on the frontier. Oh, that's mildly embarrassing. <laughs> so it looks like... Each of these little subcategories here give you. Oh, uh oh, we're losing connection here. There we are. It's like these subcategories here give you a little something like uh, food effect duration, dodge plus one, engineering plus one, shock damage received minus three percent, uh, plus one science, one handed melee, <laughs> uh, plasma damage received minus three. So why don't we. Uh, Take a couple looks here. 
I have a feeling. Oh, customer service. That sounds like my uh, life, unfortunately. So we're going to go with... Toss ball team mascot. Mm, which one was the dodge, though? Ah! Factory worker, conveyor operator, safety and fishery don't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your co workers at the factory were amputees. You survived the trenches of the assembly line long enough to know when a hydraulic press wants to pancake some fakers. Thankfully, you managed to keep all of yours. Plus one dodge. We're going to be a. Right at home in our Saltuna canneries. Uh, I, I get this is. You've got all your limbs, at least. <laughs> so, what does it say about this one? Handle bits for a living, huh? I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. <laughs> Alright, what about uh, this one? Junior grade. Oh, morphine dispenser. Oh, oh. A physician. Not many of you left. Huh. We're gonna go back to, uh... No missing fingers? You are good at your job. <laughs> I think we'll stick with the uh, factory worker for now. And, uh, looks like... Oh. We gotta see what I wanna look like, so... What do I want to look like? Well, we'll go with male for now. Do, do, do. Wow, there's a lot of choices. This might take a minute. So we'll go through. Ah! Wow. They have a nice selection. I may have to come back and just do a adventure of my own over here. Let's give them green eyes. I'm a big fan of the green. We're not going to try and... Uh, get too in-depth in character creation. After all, you're here to see me play a game, not really frag with the uh, character creation, eh? Good hairstyle here. Do, 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 do. Heh. Raid fro! Dreads! The heck kind of hair is that? Is that a beehive? That's totally a freaking beehive! Yeah. Man bun! Mohawk. The hell? Yeah, so I give our dude a mohawk. Give him some green tinted hair there. Kind of. Yes, that that is the mustache of a genius. All right, and we'll give him. Yeah, we'll give him the same tone. Any f what are the features? Dirt scar. Ooh, scars. I mean, he did survive uh, factory, so he should have some sort of scar, shouldn't he? Maybe. Yeah, let's give him that scar. Yeah, let's not make him too old. Let's make him middle-aged. And... Alright. Okay, hang on. It's gonna... We're gonna name him Mordred. Why not? Because, you know, that's who's streaming this. Who am I? And besides, engineers and scientists are the closest thing to mages. Alright. Let's get a look at our summary here. We got average, strength, good dex, good intellect, high perception, good charm, and good temperament. And got quite a few skills. We have the aptitude of a factory worker. And I got a mohawk. We'll see how it looks on me later. Alright, we're going to play a little bit of this here. And then we're going to... Get, at least figure out where we're going. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. You know, all the early cutscenes, we'll get through those and then we'll figure out what we're doing here. 
And then I will end up seeing you guys someday. Not likely, bootlickers. Oh. Uh oh. Initiate skip jump. Huh. Skip jump, huh? Probably some sort of fast travel. Orbiting laboratory, Halcyon system. Oof. Well, that happened. Ah, good. Waking up. At least it's not a weird thing from Fallout 3. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Say so what? Only, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Ugh. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? I hope so. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is huh? inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. Oh, uh, oh. Uh Okay, wait. Ah, okay, down I go, I guess. Oh. Huh. Remember the Hope's 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Brought to you by Zero G. Huh? Eh, eh. Nah. I can already tell I'm going to want to punch some of these people in the face. I might want to punch the doctor in the face. I'm not sure yet. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Uh. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good, Good to know. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. And down I go, I guess. Ooh. Well, there's the re-entry. That didn't sound... That did not sound good. The hell? Uh, okay, why is my pod sideways? Oh, no, it's not. You've landed. Good. Hawthorne should be close by. All right. What in Law's name? Is oh. that him? Oh, that idiot. I told Ooh. you to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh, well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Well, uh... Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Okay. I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Yeah, okay. So, find the ship is the first objective, people. Let's go. Alright, so we are going to take a little looky look, -look, -look, -look around. And, uh, oh! Hey! Jump over obstacle. Alright. Ooh! Space lizards! Are they like the mimic lizards in the expanse? Hmm? It's kinda cute. 
Hi, little lizard friend. All right. Let's go and see. And circle to crouch. Stealth mode. You can't see us. Very few of you will get that reference, I think. L3 to sprint. yippee ki -yay! We're sprinting! We're jumping. Oh. Wait. Sneak mode. Okay. So. Oh. Uh -huh. From enemies, use this to sneak past enemies or sneak upon them and to initiate combat. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Why is my vision so dark around me? Oh! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so... This is kind of like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh! Okay, we're gonna keep sneaking away. Maybe. I hope. And down we go into the dark, creepy tunnel. Now uh, we're taking this random arse path to the ship. Oh, more mimic lizards! Oh, what the. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yeah! The hell was that? Are you kidding me? Alright, scientist dude. You're getting a punch to the face at some point. Phineas. <sighs> okay, L1 to heal. Good to know. Ooh. I gotta remember to look. be careful about that. Where the hell am I? Oh, hey, dude. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Yeah, we're gonna uh, sit still. I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Well, thank you. you. Don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, spacers. What? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit. Were your weapons Spacer Choice? You're hiding in cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Actually, no. What were you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I've... Uh got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it. Uh... Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A pretty place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Now, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Um, I'm off. Ooh, I got a shiny new gun. I'm gonna take a look around. 
obviously, you shoot with your right trigger there. I'm gonna take a look. What's this? Tartus! Tartar sauce. Pre-sliced bread. Fast ration pill. What's this? Magpick. What's a magpick? I guess we'll find out soon enough. And you'll have to forgive me, my in adventuring senses are tingling. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna hide back here. Woo! <laughs> you okay? Did it come from Space Search Toys? Reload. Alright, we're not going to shoot the little lizard thing. We're going to come up here and take a little look-see. Okay. Whoa! Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from the being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. I thought that would be just because I was traveling through space and space-time and... SCIENCE! Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think, as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly. While moving and attacking drains it faster, the TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. R1! Time. The tactical time dilation. Good to know. All right, all right, so. Oh. Uh, oh, look, it's the bandits. Or the psychos. Ooh, there's a bad guy there. Let's see if I can't silently take him out. Okay, that didn't work. Hey! Whoa! There's another dude! Ah! Ow! I mean, wait, what? Ah! Ow! Oh! Hey, hey! I took him out! Cool! How do I. Oh! Cool. I picked up stuff. Alright, so it looks like uh, hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get in places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Good to know. Alright. Let's see here. First, we're going to pick up a few things. Mac apple. Reload! And banana nanchers. Picked up a mag. Big cartridge and rebuilt mining gear. So, we're going to take three seconds to pick this thing. Tug clapper. It's square. Alright. And a bunch more stuff, eh? Well. We're gonna pick this up. Brew! Brewski! Okay. Another inhaler. And is there a way for me to stole my weapon? There it is. Okay. Oh! Oh! That button did something. Weapon management. You can have four weapons equipped at a time by navigating the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons in this screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. That doesn't... I'm sure that means something different. All right. So we're going to equip both of those. Have two melees and two range. We got ammo, we got all this stuff. And what else? Ooh. Armor management. Armor 
Aramid ballistics will keep your skin intact. To wear armor or helmet item, navigate the item, select it, you can blah blah blah. So basically, the tutorial. Okay, now I look like a bad guy. Good to know. Uh-oh. Hold on a second, everyone. Come on. Come on. Play nice. There we go. There we go. Oop. What are you doing? There we are. Ah! Oop, shit. Bad guy. Here, I'll look at this. Come on in. Almost got it in range. Shit. Did I miss? I missed. Well, that bites. Oh, that's how I start to change weapons. Good to know. Oh, there's that guy. Let's see here. There he is. He's just wandering around. Can I please have you hold still, you bastard? And three, two, one. Headshot! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just alerted the entire canyon. Here they come. They might need to change your weapons. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're gonna go in with melee on this dude. Oh! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, shoot! I'm dying! Ah! Come on, come on. Ah! Ha ha! Okay. I think it's time for a little bit of that time dilation good stuff. <laughs> Down he goes. And nothing? Wow. Time to get back down on the ground here. We're going to take a look around. Oh, hold the dick off. <laughs> All right. No, oh, that's dealt with. Wait, where is there another dude that I just like murked? Hold on a second. Hold on. I need to take a little look see here. Should be another body unless I sent him tur hurtling down. No, no, he should be around here somewhere. Huh. Well, that's a shame. I lost the body. Oh, there it is. Anything interesting? We'll take all of that. Yeah, we're going to take all of that, and then I'm going to crouch down and head through the tall grass. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's uh, that's something you don't see every day. Oop. There we are. Hexagonal shaped stone formations. Oh look, a ship. Oop, oop. Better let my computer catch up first. <laughs> and there we go. Oop. Oh. Hey. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Lieutenant Mercer, eh? I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, land diggers. Go on, that wrong leech. Landing in the veil without using an official space choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh-huh. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with that one. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How 
is he? He'll make it. I helped him with pain. Yeah. Shouldn't have done that. Space to choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off brand physician. Fetch water. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost efficient fury that's made space to choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a winks to catch my breath. Stretch my heart. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit persuasive here. I'm gonna play uh, play the envoy from Starfinder. Do spacers choice guards back down from a challenge? analysis. is the manager in this situation. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns the ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Wow, you take your job very seriously. I'm gonna wait down here for a moment. And see what happens. Oh. Come on. Whoa. There's not much left of that, dude. Ooh. Oops. So we're going to trade out weapons. Let's sneak up here. Oh, this dude had nothing. That sucks. Gah! Time dilation! And one more just to make sure you go down and stay down. And we're gonna... Oh! Got a new helmet, too. And... Nada. All right. Hey, hey! Look at this thing. What is this thing? Oh well, let's go on board and find out, shall we? All right. Yep. 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 Hiccups. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. All right, there we are. And let's open the door. Can I close this? Can I put yeah. Thank you. Alright, you can fast travel by opening up the map and selecting the destination. Good to know. Welcome aboard the unreliable Apex Transport. Triangulum Colony 2325. 2325. I wonder if that's the year we're in. Or about. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. No? You're a robot. That's good to know. I that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted citizens. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jefferson procedures initiated. Please engage in the airlocks. Prepare to eject all board parties in five, four, uh, three, two, one. Uh, you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh, well. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. 
I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. No, no, no. I met my escape pod all right. Dead first. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Oh, you actually cared about the dude. I'm sorry. Honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Oh, why the hell not? Yeah. Uh, I get it. You need me, Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make the emergency land. The main drive's power resonator is irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Dad, I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. I mean... If I have engineering, of course, I'm going to freaking use it, right? So let's do that. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. Absolutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. Okay. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. Mm. I've taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Hey, ma'am. Yes, Ada. I got it. Thanks. Captain Hawthorne of the... Knock it off with this camp, though. Yeah. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Will do. Alright, so that seems like a good spot. That seems like a very good spot to end up here, alright? Uh, you've been promoted! Ugh. Oh god, this is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Congratulations! You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as give access to new perks every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Let's view that ledger, shall we? On to Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn the skill points to improve your skills. Uh, spending skill point on core skill and melee improves all the specialized skills in the group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description, see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away those skills unlocked. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Good to know. Alright. So we'll do a quick level up here. Why don't we, uh, why don't we get that? Hmm... Let's get that defense up. I have a funny feeling we're going to need defense here. Oh. oh, hey, I have eight points to level up, so. Get my ranged. My defense. Let's add a few more to stealth, shall we? And then... I'll take one of those for leadership. And one of those will go to melee. Just because. All right. And we're going to apply it all. All right, everyone. Looks like, oh, one more thing. Perk. Selecting perks. Welcome to perk selection. On the screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk uh, to spend. 
every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw, acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Oh, Auntie wants you to be your best, uh, to help her be the very best. Eww. All right, toughness, 50% base health. Uh, slow the world, TDD lasts longer, 25% more. Lone Wolf. Sometimes the only person trusts the other day. Uh, 25 damage when alone. Straighter. Walking speed 25. Cheetah. Sprint 20%. Uh, precision. Some unsanctioned adjustments. The workbench site uh, uh, site alignment tool is much more accurate. Companion crit chance. Uh, resilient. Plus 5 base armor rating. Few bits more, 100 additional ammo stock and vendors, 100% uh, percent additional consumable and general stock and vendors, 50% uh, for the kilogram carrying capacity increase, uh, TDR or TD, TTD recharge rate up 50%. That sounds like it'll be useful. Unlock the ability to trust, uh, fast travel when encumbered. Yes. 50% uh, from XP from companion kills. And finally, 20% on vendor prices. Whew. Sounds like I'm going to want that extra armor for now. Considering I almost got the crap beat out of me. Woohoo! Alright. And apply. And we are good to go. We're going to save it here. Alright, everyone. Thank you, and for welcoming me back. My name is Mordred Durak. I am the Top Hat Mage, and I want you all to know it's good to be back. Join me again this Sunday for the continuation of The Outer Worlds. It will be back every Sunday in the evenings, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere around there. And Thursday night, starting at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, The Adventures of the Airship Fiumet Returns, where we finally finish the Kusia Manor. Let's see what's waiting in that basement. Have a great one, everyone, and we will see you all 